Hi, welcome to Highland Homesteading. Today we're taking a look at the chicken coop. This is part seven of our do-it-yourself easy chicken coop build. So let's take a look. All right, so it's been a while since we've done an update on the do-it-yourself uh, easy chicken coop build that we have here. This uh, is the first update we've done since May of 2020. And right now it is February of 2021. And it is 17 degrees out here at 7.30 in the morning. So it's pretty cold, which is why I'm all bundled up. But uh, you can see our chickens, uh, Petunia, the gray one, and Rose over there. Uh, there, uh, some of our chickens, you can look back and see um, our different chicken videos and how they grew up. We tried to shoot videos of them pretty often as um, they're grown up. but. Uh, one of the biggest additions that we've done lately has been this kind of picket fence that we built uh, all around the coop area here. So uh, our chickens have gotten used to us putting them in the chicken tractor almost every day. And so they love getting out and scratching in any of these oak leaves down below the trees, finding worms and finding sprouts and roots and all kinds of grubs and things. So they'll hop out any chance they get. So if we open up those uh, coop doors there to get the eggs or to check on them or whatever, clean out the bedding, they like to try to hop right out. So we figured this would be a nice area just to keep them contained in. So we also have this uh, electric uh, wire running around it. So uh, it's electric fence to keep uh, both our dogs out of here, which they're very good with the chickens, which is nice, uh, but uh, more so like coyotes, raccoons, bobcats, things like that that we have uh, right outside uh, our fence line here. So let me uh, take you through, I'll give you a tour here. So we're gonna be running electrical, but right now we've got a uh, electrical cord coming here. And uh, this here is a thermo cube. I highly recommend you get a thermo cube if you don't have one already. This one goes on at 35 degrees and turns off at 45 degrees. They make them for a whole variety of ranges. Uh, so we've added that. This goes to our uh, heater that's inside the coop. I'll show you that. This one goes to our water and there's um, some of the electric that goes between the coop and this picket fence. And if you look here, it comes over to this uh, electric fence spring gate. So this connects and keeps the electricity going through the wire. Uh, so what we do is we undo the latch here, open it up, and then we just grab here. And this fence is hot right now. We have it on. And then we just let it kind of dangle down there while we're going in here and again we're going to be running electrical real soon here so uh, don't mind all the cords and things not the safest approach I don't recommend it but we've uh, been doing it for a little while and it seems to be working out so right now we have uh, this panel on here this is just a piece of um, pegboard with a little piece of drop cloth plastic uh, stapled onto it um, to just try to keep in some warmth but we do want to keep open this window um, so there's there's no glass or anything here it's just a hardware cloth um, and we do have another panel under those rocks there if we so chose to put that in there these are two lay boxes highly recommend these I'm not sure uh, what the brand of them is but uh, we got another latch just like uh, the one on the picket fence and then we open this up and this is how we collect our eggs every day now that's a fake egg in there we keep a uh, fake egg in each box and then we also keep nest material chickens always like to move it around and really don't need it in there i don't think they lay regardless but the idea is that the eggs roll down under this and then we collect them there so so that's that there's Foggy, our white leghorns. He's looking to come and scratch. And then this is uh, Hop, our speckled Sussex. And they are the two that always like to get out. So I'm gonna close this up before they hop over uh, that wood barrier that, see, I made a handle there. That comes out so we can uh, clean out all the chicken bedding 
forgot to show you our heater here. It's that panel there in the back just provides some radiant heat. There's Hop, she's going out already. <laughs> Come on, Hop. All right, so there we go. <laughs> I told you they'd hop out of there. Especially Hop, that's how she got her name. Uh, so then we uh, come to the run here. This is our doorway. We have an automatic chicken door in there. You can see this is the, the brains of the automatic chicken door there. Let's see if I can focus in here for you. There we go. And that connects to a photo sensor out here. So that uh, senses the light and then it opens the door and it closes at night. And right now these girls are all happy going inside. Uh, before it gets dark because it's been cold so um this is our water from farmer brad we actually won that in a contest on his youtube channel which is awesome so shout out to farmer brad it is an amazing water you can see gladys our other speckled sussex is pecking at the chicken nipples right now and that blue hose uh, we'll be using in the summer we'll have it routed from there out through the run to a hose and then it's got a float valve inside and uh, it keeps it full so we can go maybe uh, for a week or so and uh, go away that's how long our food will last uh, you can see our our feeder back here um, the feeder has a little top of um, the siding that we used for the coop just on top to keep the the rain out and it does an okay job but we're going to be putting on um, some roofing panels on the run because right now uh, we got a whole bunch of snow we got about two to three feet of snow out here so you can imagine with this whole thing filled with snow it was not very <laughs> not very great the chickens were reluctant to come out in the snow and scratch around so we actually made some paths uh, from the doorway here to the water and uh, an, uh, more path to the feeder and uh, then a path all the way to the uh, door as well so we could keep it cleaned out but it was just a lot of snow uh, so we're gonna put a roof on there it also will help in the summer to uh, keep the uh, sun off of the the run they do get pretty hot in the summer here in Arizona so um, this is also a automatic water that we had before we're probably gonna take this out but we have a hole in the uh, chicken wire down here I have to mend so I'm just waiting to uh, get rid of that now that we have farmer Brad's uh, awesome water highly recommend it it's uh, it's connected to power right now so it uh, actually um, won't freeze over and it's insulated and uh, actually I've had it off in 20 degree temperatures uh, and it hasn't frozen over it just created a little layer of ice on the top but so well insulated that uh, it didn't freeze over. So that's that's really cool. Um, again, highly recommend that. But as I said before, that's our coop door. We have a couple of pieces of wire to uh, open the um, latches on each side. We have one at the top and one at the bottom, just to be extra sure. Uh, I'll walk you over there. Here you can see some of our uh, electrical uh, fence that we've got around there. And we just put one strand top and bottom we haven't had any, any real issues with uh, predators yet trying to get in here. It's been pretty safe, mostly because of our coop design, I think. Uh, it's kind of like Fort Knox, and that's why we built it. But we've got electrical all around there. My son put out a have a heart trap there for uh, uh, raccoons or whatnot, and just some eggshells in there in case they uh, are trying to come for our eggs. So haven't had anything in there yet and it's been about a month that he's he's been uh, just keeping that trap out there he's a real hunter and just wants to see if anything's uh, gonna be messing with our chickens so nothing yet and of course they spilled out all of their uh, their uh, calcium and uh, uh, oyster shell and uh, grit over there so um, we are going to fill that back up today and then uh, we also have our, a ring camera up here uh, to watch predators and the light comes on and uh, just it covers our whole backyard so that's nice uh, there's there's our charge controller for the electric fence and we have it just running along the bottom of the run because the chickens aren't out here at night 
and um, we just have that to deter any predators that might decide to dig in there. Um, but uh, that's a latch down the bottom, latch at the top, and we keep this uh, metal night eyes uh, number three S beaner on here just uh, as a safety measure so we know for sure that it is not going to open up. But they think I'm going to open it up. They think it's time to come out and go in the tractor. It's not. Once uh, my wife wakes up and uh, gets going for her day today, she'll be uh, out here um, <laughs> probably fixing that there, giving the chickens some greens, some scratch, and uh, putting them in the tractor. But that's basically our tour of the um, chicken uh, coop and run that we built ourselves. I should mention that this uh, is, these are four foot sections of uh, two by four here that we made uh, for all the vertical supports. And then it is actually eight, eight feet long. So those are uh, eight foot two by sixes at the top, eight foot two by sixes at the bottom. And then we have 12 foot two by sixes running along this side. So the run is eight by 12 by four feet tall. And I forget the dimensions of the coop, but I think the floor was like seven feet by three feet. And for our eight chickens, it's been working out great. We're probably gonna get a couple others uh, this spring. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we also have a do-it-yourself uh, guide on how to make landscape stairs like this. We also have some over there, but uh, these have been super easy to make. I was able to put these in in just a few hours and we're using decomposed granite to fill them so our boots don't uh, get clogged up with mud. I'll be doing a, a uh, video more on all of our pathways and how we do all that with these uh, landscape timbers and rebar and uh, show you that. But uh, this is kind of our muddy soil underneath the oak trees. It's not quite as muddy, but uh, yeah, along the pathway, uh, it's nice to have the decomposed granite. So that is part seven uh, of our do-it-yourself, easy chicken coop build and uh, chicken run. And it's really nice having this fence here now. Uh, I hope, hope it looks uh, good in the video to all of you. And uh, let us know if you want us to elaborate on any of the particular features of the coop or the run or any of that, we'll be doing updates on the chickens for you real soon. Right, well, I'm Nick from Highland Homesteading. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't, uh, please like this video and please hit the subscribe button as well and the notification bell so that uh, you get notified every time we upload a video. Hey, thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And we'll have more videos for you real soon.